Terminator fans have had a rough go of it since Terminator 2 Judgment Day. While Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines, and Terminator Dark Fate are decent and often fun movies, especially the latter, the franchise has mostly spent the last 30 years trying to recapture the magic that the first two films captured so easily. Before we go ahead, please consider subscribing to our channel. We upload new videos every single day, and your support really helps us out. With that out of the way, let's start. Needless to say, I didn't expect much out of Terminator Resistance Enhanced. I was very, very wrong. If you've never played the original release, Terminator Resistance Enhanced is an upgraded version of 2019's Terminator Resistance. The game drops you into the boots of Jacob Rivers, a private in the Resistance. Separated from the rest of his division and stranded in Pasadena, Rivers ends up joining up with Scavengers as he looks for a way to get back to the Resistance. Resistance isn't your traditional first-person shooter. Rather than dropping you into linear levels, Resistance drops you into large environments, gives you a few mission objectives, and lets the player handle things more or less however they'd like. Resistance is a slow-paced FPS. While there are more linear, action-focused segments in the game, you'll generally spend your time sneaking around environments, scavenging supplies, opening doors with your lockpick, and hacking turrets. Environments are huge, with lots of hidden secrets to find and side quests to complete, so it's a good thing that exploring them is both engaging and fun. You'll probably spend a lot of your time moving slowly, toggling the visor that lets you see machines through walls to make sure that you're not about to be attacked. None of what Resistance's exploration offers is new. You can blow up damaged walls and crawl through vents, and the items you find can be used as crafting materials. But all of it works well enough, and each level is designed in ways that make you want to explore, even if it means backtracking. When it does come, combat is harrowing. While you're almost always armed in Terminator Resistance Enhanced, you're often overmatched, especially early on. Ammo can be scarce, and just about everything, even basic enemies like scout drones and spider scouts, can be deadly. River's health does not regenerate. To heal, you must use health packs, so every encounter is not only dangerous in the present, but can significantly weaken you for future fights. Humanity is just scraping by in the Terminator universe, and Resistance is brave enough to make that the player's reality as well. You scratch and claw for everything you get early on, and a straight-up fight is often suicide, especially if you're going up against a Terminator. Terminators aren't something that you fight in Resistance, at least initially. They're something you run from. Terminators are fast, heavily armed, and incredibly intimidating. Engaging one early on is a poor decision. Fighting more than one is often a death sentence. Resistance uses this tension of having to inhabit an environment with Terminators without alerting them to your presence to build several of its best sequences. An early standout requires Rivers to sneak through a bombed-out hospital, avoiding Terminator patrols, utterly helpless to engage them as he searches for fellow Resistance members. That doesn't last forever, though. As Rivers gains experience, levels up, acquires new skills, and gets more powerful weapons, players can engage in combat more easily. Terminators never become trivialized. You still have to plan how to approach them, and they're still deadly, especially up close, but they do get easier. Luckily, Resistance always seems to have more and bigger things to throw at you. Still, I do think the game was at its strongest when it emphasized how outmatched you are, and I wish the action sequences, which are, to be fair, often pretty good, lived up to the game's best stealth-focused sections. Between missions, you'll wander Resistance's hub, chatting with other characters, learning their stories, purchasing new equipment, and acquiring side missions. How you respond to characters matters, as it can actually change the game's ending and open up new aspects of a relationship with a character. Resistance's story isn't exceptional, but it is solid, and I was invested enough in the writing and the performances to care about the characters and what happened to them. I figured he didn't appreciate you looking at his sister like that. How's Mark doing? Not great. We barely have any medicine left, but hopefully Jennifer will bring back some antibiotics from that hospital. Unfortunately, not everything in Terminator Resistance Enhanced comes together so well. Taeon was clearly working on a budget here, and it shows. Character models, while not terrible, aren't as good as what you'd see in a AAA title, and they don't animate much, even in conversations. Mostly, you just see their mouths move. The game also features some fairly muddy textures, and the voice acting is a bit hit and miss. 
Enhanced fixes some of this, running at a pretty much locked 60 FPS, boosting the resolution and increasing the load times. The latter is by far the most impressive. Enhanced loads in about 2 to 3 seconds, which is very welcome. Ultimately, Terminator Resistance Enhanced is a better version of the game, but it can't hide that this was a budget release. It does look and run better, but you wouldn't mistake it for a AAA release. I did notice one odd technical error. Sometimes trophies wouldn't unlock, specifically for gathering collectibles and one specific story point. Given that no one had the collectible achievement according to the PSN, this seems to be a global issue and one Taeon will hopefully patch soon. In addition to the technical enhancements, Enhanced adds updates from the PC release. The biggest of these is Infiltrator Mode, which lets you play as a T-800. The mode is around 45 minutes to an hour long and must be completed in a single sitting. In it, you step into the metal skull of a T-800 that is tasked with assassinating a high-ranking member of the Resistance. To find them, you'll travel across a map repurposed from the campaign, gathering intel and fighting the resistance. Unlike Rivers, the T-800 is a killing machine, more than capable of wading through dozens of resistance members without issue. You realize the difference in power the first time you rip out a minigun from its mounting and carry it around. The T-800 doesn't need to find materials or craft, he just needs guns. Lots of guns. As tough as he is, however, the T-800 is not invincible. Taeon balances the T-800's strength by limiting your access to healing items, forcing you to scavenge them off of other Skynet forces. I often found myself at low health, searching for more downed robots just so that I could heal myself a little bit. Death means restarting in infiltrator mode, so there is a nice balance between feeling absolutely unstoppable and also a little vulnerable when it's been a long time between repair kits. Taeon also nails the T-800's HUD. Text scrolling along the upper left, things you come in contact with are scanned, and taking damage causes your vision to malfunction as static and tearing fills the screen. There are also some very nice secrets and throwbacks in the mode that I'm not going to spoil. It's a good addition, but I do wish that Infiltrator mode had its own map and that there was more to do aside from gathering intel. I enjoyed Terminator Resistance Enhanced much more than I expected to. While the game doesn't do anything particularly new, it does everything it attempts fairly well and absolutely nails the atmosphere, tone, visuals, and sound of the Terminator films. That it features a pretty solid story and some compelling gameplay is a bonus. Enhanced is clearly the best version of the game, and its upgrades and additions, particularly Infiltrator Mode, are welcome. But nothing added is going to make anyone think this is a AAA title. Even Enhanced, Resistance's budget shines through. Anyone who can get past that, however, will find a surprisingly solid game that respects the IP and often punches above its weight. Terminator Resistance Enhanced manages to deliver a fun, if flawed, experience, and in a franchise as deeply flawed as Terminator has been for the last three decades, that's not too bad of a fate. And with that, we reached the end of the video. Have anything to say? Let us know in the comments below. Also, we upload new videos every single day on Gaming Bolt, so please consider subscribing as it really helps us out. Thanks for watching.